So regular viewers of my channel will realise that I'm in a different location here today. Not my own house, but I have got a product that you may well be interested. It's a sound bar by Diplay. Uh, they sent it to me and it's a 2.0 sound bar, so it's no surround sound here. It has got 100 watts of peak power. And it also has HDMI ARC technology now. You should all have this on your TV if it's a relatively modern TV. ARC is the standard that you, if you plug it into your ARC, basically you can use all the HDMI ports on the back of your TV while using this sound bar. So that means you only need one HDMI off the back of this, plug it into your ARC component on your TV, and then doesn't matter what you plug in, uh, HDMI wise onto your TV will all go through this. Not only that, you can re also use your remote control to control all your devices through ARC, which is excellent. I like to see that. It's also got an optical port. It's got a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary port, a TF card as well, and a USB port. And it's got Bluetooth. So that means you can hook up your phone or your tablet or any other Bluetooth device and stream music onto the sound bar. Now it does say it's got 100 watts of peak power, which deliver rich crystal sound to enhance any movie, music, or gaming experience. Now I didn't mean to laugh there, but I've, what I was th laughing to myself was, well, we'll be the judge of whether it's crystal clear or not. Uh, the Bluetooth technology offers seamless streaming from Bluetooth enabled devices, we've chatted about that, and it supports digital and analog output input. Now, what do you get in the box? Well, you get the sound bar, you get an adapter, not sure which what, what that is, uh, remote controller, not remote control, but remote controller, an HDMI cable, an optical cable, an audio cable, 3.5 millimeter, RCA cable and a manual. Right, so here's all the cables. Uh, that's uh, your remote controller. We've got some instructions. 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable, RCA cable, the optical cable as well, and an HDMI cable. Let's have a look at the unit itself. And it is made of plastic as you would expect. Nice shiny design here, shiny black design. What's really cool is you've got actual wall mountables as well, or you can put some uh, screws in the wall or whatever, so it can hang, which is pretty nice, I like that. Uh, I can see, I can just see the glint that we've got one, two, three, four speakers, so maybe two speakers, two tweakers maybe, so that's the 2.0. Little mesh grill, black grill here. And on the back, as previously mentioned, we have got USB auxiliary optical DC in, which is the power ply supply and an HDMI arc. Right, seems pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna plug it in now. So it's basically HDMI to HDMI and I plug it into the socket. Okay, I've set it all up and I can happily say it was very, very easy to set up. You literally plug it in, HDMI to HDMI, and you're good to go. If you've got ARC, which I mistakenly, mistakenly thought that this TV actually had, but it doesn't have ARC. But you can still use the optical cable, which I did do, which came provided. So optical cable in the back, into the back of the TV. And this is where you have to use the little uh, remote control here, and you have to make sure that you press optical on the remote control. Uh, I think it's already set up for opticals, but uh, say if I wanted to use uh, the ARC, I would just use the HDMI ARC. HDMI. And it tells you, it also changes color. Now, if I wanted to use the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Fun enough, it is the blue color. Bluetooth worked really, really well. As you see, it's flashing away already, so it's actually looking for uh, a Bluetooth connection. I was going to be looking around for my phone. I just realized I'm actually filming with my phone today, but I did do it off screen. It really is simple. Very, very quick actually to set up to Bluetooth. It's connection wise, everything. I can't complain about anything. If I wanted to put in a USB, uh, you click Please the enter USB. As I've just pressed the USB button on the remote control. 
very easily set out. Now the one downside about not using the HDMI arc is the fact that I have to use this little remote control for your volume. And I'm actually pleased to say that from my couch, which is about 10 feet away from the TV, uh, the volume worked really well. Uh, the remote control, I should say, worked really well. One downside is that you don't actually know what vol level of volume you've got. There's nothing to indicate. Once you get to maximum, it does actually flash to say that it's actually on maximum. I'm just going to take that off screen uh, just to make sure uh, that we don't get minimum flicker. So I can't complain at all about the setup. The setup is actually incredibly simple. With this old Samsung TV, it's pretty old now actually, it's more than 10 years old, it sits very well and it's very much the same size as the stand that comes with it. So it is very neat, it's maybe just a little bit over the lip, but it works well and the remote control for the TV still works. So I can't complain about that either. So all in all, it's pretty good. Yes? Well, the sound. That's the only contentious part. And again, well, this is a sound bar. So the sound has to be pretty good. The sound wise, well, how can I explain this? It is loud. It's louder than the TV. If it is a better sound than the TV, that is where it is up for debate because there's one thing that this lacks, this sound bar, because it, it is literally a sound bar on its own, there's no subwoofer, is bass. It lacks that little bit of bass just to make everything sound just that little bit clearer. It is louder than the TV. Definitely is louder than the TV. And you do get used to the sound. So really, it's probably on par with the sound quality of the TV. Maybe a little bit less, but it is louder. So it kind of equals, it, you know, it's kind of yin and a yang. It really depends on, on, on what you classify as good sound at the end of the day but as loud, definitely as loud. Not really earth shattering loud, but definitely loud enough for to fill this room, which is about a good 14 by 12 feet room. Now, the other functions that we had, Bluetooth, for example, there is a notable hum, just a very notable hum. It's very, very quiet uh, when you do use Bluetooth with it. It is notable, uh, there's no doubt, two ways about it. Okay, I just want to intervene just a little, little second. I went to check the, on the hum, and the hum is not there anymore. So I don't know what happened when I tried it yesterday, but there definitely was a hum, but now there's no hum. And it is completely quiet when I use Bluetooth with either Amazon Music or Spotify or YouTube. So I don't know what that was. So I thought I'd just clear that up. No harm. Whether I would actually use this as a Bluetooth sound bar uh, or a Bluetooth speaker, there are better Bluetooth speakers out there. Make no mistake, this is a sound bar for your TV and it's around about £50, $50. So you make up your mind whether that is a good price for it. At the end of the day, it's a budget sound bar and it does its job, which is being louder than the regular TV speakers. And it definitely does that well.